process is a good word for it. Honestly, it was probably the hardest part would be choosing a song to sing. And um, number one tip, always ask your vocal teachers, vocal directors for help because they know your voice better than you do, honestly. Another thing would be just know your limits, know where you can go vocally, know where you can go acting wise and just kind of explore that. Don't over, over sing, don't extend farther than you already can. I would say that is a big lesson that I learned through finding a piece that works for me and that shows my full range of my singing voice. Well, if you know me, I'm kind of one to stay busy for basically as long as I can. I don't really sit still at all. And during the pandemic, um, kind of hard to do that, especially, you know, like March, April, May of last year. Um, so I kind of, I took a minute, I sit, sat down with myself and I was like, okay, what can I do? Cause choir virtual doesn't really work well. Although now we're doing pretty good. Um, and a bunch of other things that I did after school were obviously canceled. So I sat down and I decided that I wanted to bake. I love baking, very inexpensive hobby. And who doesn't love cookies, right? So I kind Kind of, um, I went to the store with my mom and we bought a lot of ingredients to bake, just a bunch of cookies. And then that same week when we finished all of them, packaged them all up, wrote little notes and brought them to basically everyone we could think of. 
Um, I mean, obviously beginning of pandemic wasn't really good time for anyone, I don't think. And it's really nice to just honestly drive around even to just get out of the house and deliver the little boxes of joy. So that's kind of what I did to keep myself motivated and positive and also spread some of that to other people that I knew in my life. Transferring during a pandemic, I actually transferred a week before school started, it was very, very nerve wracking. I didn't know how the Bell girls were going to like me. I didn't know anybody at Sandberg, but all the girls in Bell Canto were very, very welcoming women. And I'm so happy I'm a part of this group. Well, every single girl in Bell is very passionate about music. We all have respect for each other. I love the deep conversations we get into, um, whether it's about coffee or about music. So I'm just really happy that I'm a part of this group. And some of my closest friends are actually in Bell Canto.
usually when we're all joking around at the beginning of class, um, sometimes I try to say hi to everyone and there's a bunch of us, so it always ends up bad. Um, but really us connecting before class and saying hi to each other kind of makes it feel like it's a normal year. So I did try making tiny crowns and then people kept asking for them. So I ended up making like 20 paper crowns out of post-it notes. No one ever got any because we're in quarantine kind of, but it was fun to do. And most of them got their names on it. So that was fun. Coming in here for the first time for singing, it was, it was like fantasy. I can still barely process it. It's like seeing a movie for the first time and then trying to get through it, even if you've seen it many times before. And it's changed the culture because even though we were so far apart and we could only see each other through a screen, we were still really connected. We're all still really connected. It's like we've known each other since we were babies. And it, it's amazing because it's not just us together, but it's us as individuals. 
we've learned to mature so much and so quickly that we've just come to grasp anything and just look for all the positives in life and it's beautiful and I love this group so much and I would never change it.
Since we haven't been singing full out, it can be difficult to um, feel confident in your part when you're singing. Um, I know from personal experience that um, when I'm at home, uh, it can be um, discouraging maybe a little bit to sing possibly because um, there may be parents in the other room or you might be embarrassed about how you sound a little bit. But being in a group atmosphere um, like makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. And that's what I like about coming in to um, sing um, with other people. But it's, it can still be a little bit difficult to hear yourself, especially when you're the only one on your part. Um, so it might be slightly isolating, but it definitely helps when everybody can talk about it and be free about that sort of thing. And all of the videos and stuff that we've been doing with listening to our own voices has really helped with that as well. Um, I feel a lot more confident now with my part. Um, personally, I have gone um, from a first soprano to a second soprano, so that has been a change as well and made me feel um, a little bit more wishy-washy with my part as well. Um, but it's been, it's been a little bit difficult um, switching parts and also um, not being able to sing with an entire group and I feel like a lot of people are going through that right now. Well, I feel like just being in person, like the hybrid, after like getting so used to being online and then finally going in and then just getting to interact with all your peers and your teachers and like seeing what happens behind the screen, like all the funny stuff that you don't see when the camera is off. I feel like that was the best part. Just for choir specifically, there's always like so much fun going on without like that the camera can't see just because it's focusing on Miss D on the piano. And like, it's just so much better than being online. I feel like just the sun, the sense of normalcy that you see, the sense of fun and just in general, I feel like that's the highlight that's been with hybrid. Bye.